हे गाइज वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो एज यू कैन सी फाइनली द वेदर इज क्लियर आई एम आउट एंड टूडे इज वीडियो इज स्पेशली फॉर ऑल द न्यू कमर्स हु आर कमिंग टू कैनाडा एंड स्पेशली एज स्टूडेंट एंड आर लुकिंग फॉर हाउसेज सो दिस इज अ टॉपिक दैट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टूडेंट हैव बिन आस्किंग मी ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल दैट यू नो हाउ टू फाइंड अ हाउस एंड वेर टू लिव एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स एंड स्पेसिफिकली एलगॉन क्विन कॉलेज स्टूडेंट बिकॉज या दे आर कनेक्टिंग विथ मी ऑन यूट्यूब बिकॉज of my previous videos about Algonquin College so I'm here and I will actually show you guys like you know what kind of houses you can rent over here and what will be the price and how you can rent so without any delays guys let's get started with the video so the first type of houses that you will find near Algonquin College is these row houses that you can see behind me this this area is called deerfield drive and uh, you will have a lot of options over here because a good amount of indian students are living here and you will find ads online there are whatsapp groups there are a lot of mediums from which you can connect to people and there are even some um, facebook groups like algonquin rentals and all these things so people keep uh posting ads about you know room availability and all those things so you can go ahead and check that out uh so these are the houses like you know town house kind of or row house so you can find a room in these apartments for around 550 dollars uh if if it's uh going for cheap but uh, right now the rates are around 650 to 700 and 750 dollars a month for a room just for a room so if you want to uh, actually buy or sorry not buy a rent an entire row house it will cost you around 2000 dollars so if you have a group of like four people or something these uh, these row houses actually have like three rooms in it if you are four people you can definitely easily accommodate yourself into these houses um and if you are going to rent an entire uh, row house it will be far more cheaper than you so try making group from india itself so that you can you know come here and get a full row house and you can live with the people whom you vibe with so that is very important so whenever you are renting ask a lot of question ask how these people are uh, see their behaviors and all those things and then only get an apartment or or a room in that apartment because i have seen a lot of people um like find it very difficult to adjust with each other so that is a very crucial thing that you should notice and the next type of apartment are like proper apartments in building uh i don't suggest living in a building because of one primary reason that is like you usually don't have parking that is not of concern for young students or the fresh students who are coming here but uh the laundry laundry is a common laundry in every building or every residential apartment that i have seen over here so uh that is one thing that i don't like about it that you have to find time then go there and pay for your laundry like every time it will be around 2 dollar 2.5 dollars and with drying and washing it will come to around 6 or 6.5 dollars so every time if you have to go and find that are the machines available or not that is a waste so this is something that i want to share with you like find a row house if if you have people with you or else uh, apartments are also a good option and uh, in apartment the rent over here is around 550 dollars to 650 dollars uh depending on the location downtown is definitely expensive but uh, if you are in algonquin college i would suggest uh taking an apartment near to algonquin college because traveling and transportation here sucks if you are living anywhere in ottawa and if you have to come to algonquin college till the time the railway or the rail line or metro line starts it's very difficult there is just one or two buses that come to algonquin college and if you miss them you're fucked so this is something that i usually share with everyone and uh, yeah rest all is like you will manage 
um if you are living near algonquin college there are lots of facilities like you will have a uh, home depot over here mcdonald's tim hortons and all these services are here like loblaws is over here there is college square and you you will find a lot of amenities near algonquin college so this is something that i want to show you and uh, share with you guys that you know uh, if you are an algonquin college student try living near the college if not walking distance at least 5 to 10 minutes uh, bus ride or something don't live far off because i have lived near herdman near herdman a lot of uh, students would know that uh, coming from herdman to algonquin college is also a task you might have to change two buses then take 88 and 88 is very difficult to get and uh, the frequency of these buses actually flicker a lot a lot guys so in winters it will be really difficult for all of you to manage your travels it will be so painful that you will feel like you know why did i come to canada so this is something that i wanted to share with you all and uh, one more question that i used to get is uh, how to find jobs and part time jobs and all these things so i would say like you know get a basic kind of experience in some stores or management or receptionist or something like that and start applying you can apply to loblaws you can directly go to the loblaws uh, website and uh, see the openings over there that's the best method uh, then if you are working or if you want to work for tim hortons mcdonalds or something you can apply online plus you can go to these uh, restaurants and directly submit your resume that's the best way to manage or to find a job over here and uh, for college again uh, so student association or uh, sa algonquin they keep posting a lot of jobs and a lot of opportunities for on campus jobs so if you want you can go to uh, sa algonquin website and see what are the jobs that are available right now and apply and wherever you have applied just do one thing go there and talk to the manager or talk to the management whoever is there so guys now you know about the jobs uh, my battery got over so <laughs> i had to manage that but anyways now you know about the basics about the jobs and uh, if you want to understand about the shopping or anything like that what you can do is um uh, for all the home uh, home stuff like plates glasses spoons and all those things i would say like go to a thrift store you will find really good deals over there dollarama also has good products but uh, they are not long lasting so i would say go to thrift store there are a lot of thrift stores nearby i will put some of the locations also so that you can go and check it out and uh, main shopping do not go to loblaws loblaws everything is expensive like at least 1 or 2 dollars difference you will find in most of the stuff so do not go to loblaws shop from walmart for all your daily groceries and uh, yeah and u pass is very important uh, from your college only you will get the u pass so your traveling and all those public transport is free for you so this is something that you have to be very vigilant about how to save money how to manage money how to get a job so these are the things that you have to keep in mind and if you have any kinds of doubts or any questions regarding anything go ahead mention it in the comment section and if you like this video this is a very short one but uh, i i hope it will be very useful for you so if you like this video go ahead hit a like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead definitely subscribe to my channel take care of yourself and See you soon.